Welcome back to Saw Ridge Farm. I'm Jacob. Uh, so today we're going to be in the shop. It's kind of a drizzly day outside, but we got another uh, build that we're going to do with our cedar. Now this build, uh, Alex has been asking for and is wanting for a long time. It's kind of a, what it's going to be is like a kind of a key holder slash, you know, we're going to put our leashes on it and for our uh, kind of our uh, mail. She's been really wanting something like that to put by the door because every time we get mail or keys, we're kind of putting them just random spots and just really wanted to make it a little bit more organized. So that's what we're going to be building today. And we're going to be building actually two of them. One's going to be a little bit different. I'll talk a little bit more about that later. But right now, this is kind of somewhat the design I thought of. It's pretty simple if somebody wanted to make this. Uh, and this is actually just kind of like the leftover piece pieces from the can rotator so that's kind of why i'm using this this is just a design i thought of i'll probably make a different one later i'm really you know uh, interested in kind of making things so i'll definitely probably be doing different type of uh, designs but this is just what i thought of right now so right here the way i'm kind of just going to build it it's really easy these are just one by fours and we just put them together and we just put these little kind of bracing as you can uh you can kind of call them, but really they're, they're not really necessary, but they make them look good with the contrast. And so what I'm gonna do here is on this side, we're gonna put kind of these bigger kind of hooks right here. Maybe not all these, I'll space them out. And this will be more for like the dog leashes that we have and just maybe some hats or a sweater or something. So that's mainly what's gonna be over here. And then over here is gonna be, I don't know if you can see them, you'll see them later, but they're just smaller hooks. And this will be for the actual keys that we're gonna be putting on there. Uh, that's what those hooks are for. And then on the top, you'll see this here in a bit, but I'm gonna build just like a little kind of box, a little slap box uh, to where we can put envelopes and stuff if we get mail coming in or if we need to take mail out, we know exactly where to go and it's gonna just be in this little box. So that's kind of the design I have. Like I said, it's the first time I'm kind of building something like this. But we'll see how it turns out and we'll take you along. Uh, before we get too far into the build, I uh, wanna say stay tuned to the end of the video. Uh, we're gonna be talking about the YouTube meetup that we're having. If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, we're having a meetup here in Pryor, Oklahoma. It's gonna be on May 22nd and it's gonna be at our, our church, Exciting Southeast Baptist Church. And uh, just stay tuned to the end. We're gonna talk about it and just all the information. If y'all are interested in going to that, just stay tuned to the end because we are going to talk about it. All right, so we got uh, this part done. We went with this side of it. Uh, previously, we were gonna go with the other one, but we really liked just how it had the white and just this little kind of groove made it a little bit, uh, we thought it looked a little bit better. So we got all this uh, glued down, nailed, and we sanded the edges to where, you know, it's not gonna cut us or anything. Now, the next thing I'm gonna be making here is gonna be kind of the um, mail holder. And that's going to go right here on this side and what we're going to be cutting we're going to make the inside six inches so 
kind of hard to explain what it's going to look like but we're going to have a wall here a kind of a wall here and then we're going to have like probably i think two maybe three slats in the front and uh, that's what this is going to be but the inside of it is going to be six inches that should hold um, any size kind of envelope i don't think much envelopes are that much bigger so we're going to uh, start cutting the little slat pieces right now with uh, this long piece All right, y'all, so I think we got everything ready for uh, the polyurethane. Um, it's coming out real nice. So right here is gonna be where the uh, envelope uh, kind of holder is. And then after we do the poly, we'll put the hooks on, the two different type hooks, and we'll be pretty much done with this build. And uh, after this, then we're gonna talk about the meetup and just a little bit of details, things that we're trying to get organized and things like that. And we'll go more into detail uh, about the meetup right after we get this done. All right, y'all, so we got the uh, the poly done. We let it sit overnight. Uh, it came out real good. We're really happy with it. Now, pretty much the final step now is we're gonna be putting the hooks on. And this is kind of the system that we kind of thought of right here is we got these hooks. Now, these aren't exactly where they're going, but this is somewhat what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna have four hooks here. This is for like your leashes and stuff like that. So a little bit bigger hooks. And then over here, I already kind of did a couple pre-drills. We're going to have five of them and just these little ones. These are for just mainly keys or just really small uh, items, maybe with like a lanyard or something, and it's going to go here. So I'm going to put the hooks in. I'm going to pre-drill these, get those in, and this is pretty much going to be done. And then we'll talk about the meetup and everything. We'll just be a little bit brief just to give you all an idea of uh, some things that are going to be going on.
All right, y'all, so we are finally done with our, I guess you could say, entryway key holder. Um, it came out real nice. Like I said, here's the uh, hooks for the leashes and the keys, and then this is for, like, mail, uh, just for, like, envelopes and stuff. Uh, Alex is pretty happy about this. We're, we'll go stick it in the house uh, later today. But another thing we are building as we are doing this, but we didn't show y'all because we want to make it a little bit of a surprise. So I'll put this down, and I want to get y'all's opinion too. So remember, look at this. This kind of, you could say, is a little bit more modern looking right here. Um, but what do y'all think about, you know, something like this? We were making this as well. We didn't show y'all. It's just a little smaller, and it's kind of more specifically for keys. But it's got those old kind of uh, nails in it that I've, I've just had for a while, and I thought it looked pretty cool. This we are actually going to be selling at the meetup and uh, we're gonna be talking about the meetup right now but we just kind of want to get y'all's opinion we're thinking about because um, we're gonna have like you know a little booth there and we're thinking about making just little things kind of like this uh, we just kind of want to get y'all opinion on you like kind of the modern look kind of the old rustic look or both but we're trying to like I said just build some stuff out of our cedar it won't always just be this I have some other ideas of some other things that we can do uh, nothing like huge because we know people are going to be driving and uh, but we just kind of want to get y'all's opinion if you thought that'd be kind of cool if y'all would maybe want to buy some of these at the meetup and we'll probably do some videos maybe showing y'all what we're building for the meetup uh, so just leave down in the comments if that's something you're interested in and if y'all would like to see that and maybe get a couple of these types of uh kind of trinkets or such that we're making right now so leave in the comments but I want to talk about the meetup right now if y'all don't know uh, we're having a YouTube meetup it's going to be May 22nd this year it's going to be in Pryor Oklahoma and it's at our church that we attend and it's exciting exciting Southeast Baptist Church Jason remember that exciting Southeast Baptist Church he can never get it right but uh, that's where it's going to be at. We have a Facebook page, and we'll leave all this down in the description if y'all are interested in going. we got a Facebook page to let you know a little bit more about it. Uh, we have some campgrounds if y'all want to, like, kind of RV. We picked up, I think, ground, I think four campgrounds that are somewhat close in the area. Uh, if y'all are wanting to kind of do that, I think we have some hotels on there. I know some of them are already sold out, but there's plenty of hotels around in the area for that. We also have a email address. It's YouTube Family Reunion at yahoo.com. Uh, go check that out. Well, this is the reason why we needed the email because we're wanting to do kind of like vendors. You know, we, we know we have a lot of kind of entrepreneur people that make things and probably want to sell them. And we're going to have some tables set up for that. We all will have to bring your table, tables. But we're trying to get some of that because we're trying to make it more of like a festival type thing. We're wanting to have food trucks. And so if y'all, you know, have food trucks, if you're wanting to kind of come in and maybe make a little bit of money, that's what this email's for. Um, because we're trying to make it to where, like I said, it's festival, but we want like the, the subscribers to kind of be in it. You know, we don't want to just go out and get some random company. We can if we have to, but we really wanted to kind of reach out to y'all and see if, you know, I, we thought it'd be really cool if the subscribers and us, you know, it was just all, you know, just a big family event. So we're wanting food trucks, maybe some type. I know people talked about bounce houses, that type of stuff. Um, we're not trying to go completely crazy. We are limited on space. When I talk about the vendors, there's going to be... 15 to 20 vendors outside we're going to have a tent set up it's like a circus tent our church has and we're thinking that's going to hold about that we'll double check none of this is completely final but we're just trying to get it out there we're trying to get organized and trying to put some things in stone so people can prepare for you know it's coming up it's four months but it'll come up soon and then on the inside of, of the church like i said we're very limited in space here we plan on having a lot of people probably come out we're going to have, I think, 10 uh, tables in there, and that's limited. And what it is is $50 to be inside, and that's strictly going to be for, like, YouTube channels to sell merch and stuff like that and, 
you know, us, we're going to probably sell some of, you know, these type of stuff we're going to build. Um, the outside under the tent, that's more for vendors of, you know, people selling just, you know, what, whatever it is. If you make soap or it's, uh, you just, whatever you kind of make, whatever you do, that's going to be for that. That's going to be $25. Uh, you get an eight foot table. You'll have to bring your own table for this. And like I said, we'll hash a lot of this out, but that is what the emails for if you're wanting to be a vendor you got a food truck or maybe you got a good idea uh you know of a some type of fun event put it in the email so that'll let us know what we can choose from we can't choose everybody okay we are very limited on space we're trying not to crowd everything so whenever you send your email we will go through we're going to make sure we're not having you know 10 people selling soap in a sense we want to make sure that it's a diverse you know selling you know in a sense no one's competing against anybody it's just more of everyone's got their own thing and i think that's better for everybody else um and so yeah that outside is 25 inside's 50. now don't email and then try to send money and try to you know this is going to be a little bit of a process we need to figure it out do not uh, think you have a spot or just assume you do because you send an email once you send it we'll try to get back with you and we will let you know if you are picked for that okay uh, if you don't hear from us on that we will let everyone know you know who's gonna have the vendor and such like that okay and then once you are told hey you're gonna have a, a booth we'll give you a little kind of lot number and then we'll tell you how you pay because I, I just don't want people to get confused thinking I emailed it and you're trying to send money and stuff like that. We'll let you know and we'll do this as soon as we can. We're just trying to get this ball rolling because we're trying to be a lot more organized on this meetup than we were on the last one. So that's just a little bit of a kind of precursor. You want you got any of that stuff? You want to be a part of it? We're going to have jobs too here soon. We'll put that out on the Facebook page. Really look at the Facebook page to see what's going on. And if you want to be a part of a job, say, you know, uh, you know, you want to help refill drinks or something like that, put that in the email. Say, hey, I can help do this if y'all need it. So we know who can help, who's vendors, who's going to do food trucks, stuff like that. And we can just be really organized with it. And it can be just, in a sense, less stressful as possible. So bear with us in all this and just start you know shooting us emails with uh, the things you got but guys we're really looking forward to this meetup we're really looking forward to just seeing everybody i think it's going to be a good time the last one was a real good time and this one i believe is going to be a little bit more organized we're going to try to have a lot of good giveaways really good giveaways so just stay tuned be watching all the you know channels us the crockers uh the Payne family that we're kind of the ones somewhat running the thing we're trying to set everything up so we're uh, we're just really excited but we really hope you enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe to our channel you got questions about anything uh, if it's about the the meetup just go to that uh, email because all of us are kind of going to be on that email figuring things out and we need everyone to be on the same page so try not to do so much of the meetup on our comments leave that for the email to help us out to decipher you know which one goes where but really appreciate it for y'all stopping by watching the video y'all take care and god bless It is the family YouTube, uh, <laughs> what is it? YouTube family okay. reunion at yahoo.com. So we have an email. It's, uh, the family, <laughs> that gun <it. laughs> What? The family YouTube reunion? YouTube family YouTube reunion. Family reunion. <laughs> okay. And yeah. <laughs> so let's go. <laughs>